Hello kindergartners, this is Mrs. Hilliard, and today we're gonna to be making a melted snowman art project. So here is what you are going to need. You are going to need your melted snowman art project, a little packet of papers, a pair of scissors, some glue, your pencil, and either a black marker or a black crayon. So I'm gonna have you pause the video, make sure you have all of your materials, and then when you're ready, you can push play. Okay, when you have everything, this is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna take off my little paper clip and put this part to the side. So here's what you have. You have a little orange paper, you have a black paper, you have a brown paper, you have your writing paper, and then you have a big piece of white paper. So this writing paper, we're gonna be writing um, a sentence together and it's gonna get glued down here because think about a real snowman looks like snowman has big balls of snow and you stack them on top of each other and then you decorate them right but this snowman got too close to something hot and he melted so we're making a melted snowman so on here we're gonna be writing what your snowman got too close to maybe your snowman got too close to a campfire or the oven, or the heater, or a hot bowl of soup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some glue on my writing page, and I'm gonna flip it over, and you're gonna glue it way down here at the bottom. Okay, see I only have like a teeny bit of blue showing. It's gonna glue way down here. This is the part where your words are gonna go on. Now, we're gonna glue the snowman's body, but it's not gonna look like a regular snowman shape because remember, our snowman melted. So he has to look like a puddle of melted snow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my scissors and I'm gonna cut along and just make it all wavy and like it's a, like a puddle. So I'm gonna go like this, make it look really wobbly like a big melted puddle of snow. It does not have to be perfect. You're just melting all the way around. It doesn't even really matter what shape it is. There's my melted snowman. I'm going to put my scraps to the side so that I can put it in the recycling. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this melted snowman body and I'm going to glue it right up here. So I'm going to put some glue all around the edges. And I'm gonna put a big X in the middle. I'm gonna flip it over and put it right up here. Make sure it's not sticking off the edge anywhere. And then smooth it all down. And while we're smoothing it down, let's count by tens all the way to 100. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Woo, okay. Now we have to put all the pieces of a snowman because imagine if a snowman melted. What are all the pieces that would melt down into the puddle? His carrot nose, his stick arms, and all those little lumps of coal that you used for his face, right? So first let's put on, let's do his carrot nose first. So for the carrot nose, you're gonna use the orange piece of paper and we're gonna draw a nose on here. And how you're gonna draw the nose is you're gonna just draw like a letter V, just a big letter V. And then at the top of the letter V, you're going to do a kind of a little curved line like that, okay? And then with my marker, I'm gonna just do some little curved lines here and there, kind of like this to make it look like a carrot. Because a carrot, if you've ever looked at it, kind of has some lines on it. So I'm gonna do some lines to make it look like a carrot. Okay, then I'm gonna cut out my carrot nose. And then put my scraps to the side and put my carrot nose on there. You can put your nose, you're not gonna make it look like a nose. 
because if, if your snowman melted, it might land over here, it might land over here. You can put it up like this, down over here, anywhere you want. The good thing about this project is you can't mess up because it's going to be everywhere. Okay, there my carrot nose is going to be down there. Now I'm going to do some stick arms. So with the brown paper, we're going to make two arms, okay? The easiest way to do that is to fold it in half. That way when we cut it, we'll end up with two different arms. Okay, once you fold your brown paper in half, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a, I'm gonna use my marker just so you can see it a little bit better because the paper is dark. I'm gonna draw a line and then we'll draw a shorter line coming off and another short line coming off. And now when we cut it, we're gonna cut all around next to it. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna trace around the lines I just made. So I'm gonna go up here, this way, up here, over here. See, I'm just tracing all around the line I just made. Now what I'm gonna do is keep it folded and you're gonna cut on those lines you just made. See how I'm cutting around it and then it'll make it look like a little stick hand. Kind of like Olaf's hands. I'm gonna go really careful and slow. And remember, if they mess you mess up, that's okay, because they're just sticks, right? Sticks aren't perfect in nature. Okay, put my scraps aside. And I don't want the black part showing, so that's the part I'm gonna put the, um, the glue on. And you can put his little stick arms anywhere you want them. So first I'm gonna put some glue on this side. Now I'm gonna put some glue over here. My glue is kinda ran low. I'm gonna twist it up a little bit. When you twist your glue up, don't twist it up really high. Just twist it a tiny bit. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna put this arm over here. And now I'm gonna do some of the little lumps of coal here. So I'm gonna do just a bunch of circles. And another thing that you can do actually is if you fold your paper, I'm gonna fold it one time, and then I'm gonna fold it another time. And I'm gonna draw some circles. And now I'm gonna cut out these circles with the paper folded. And if you cut out the circles when the paper is folded, you'll get lots of circles. See how I'm turning the paper, not the scissors, right? And these don't have to be good looking circles either because lumps of coal in real life are all kind of wobbly looking. So here's some, I already got four circles. So imagine on a real snowman, these would be like his eyes and then you would be making a little, like a little mouth with them, right? But since he melted, we're gonna put them all over the place. We're gonna spread them out. And some of them could be the buttons Now another thing that we don't have on ours that you could do if you wanted to is a scarf. That might be kind of hard though, so I'm not gonna put a scarf on mine. But you could if you wanted to. So you don't have to do that many um, black buttons if you want to. You can do as many as you want. It's totally up to you. If you wanna just do a couple, you can just do a couple. And if you wanna do a lot, you can do a lot. So once you've got your little lumps of coal out, you're just gonna have to glue them down. Glue them down wherever you want them. Try to spread it all out. And let's see. It looks just like a puddle of melted snow with all this poor pieces inside of the puddle there just like that and then you're done put your cap back on your glue stick put your materials away put your name on it and you're all done you have a melted snowman poor guy all right i hope you had fun and i can't wait to see what your melted snowmans look like